Hi friends, Mr. Kevin here with the Children's Museum of the Low Country in Charleston, South Carolina. And I wanted to show you this fun book called Balancing Act about two mice who have an adventure with a stick and a rock. And they learn a lot about how some things are heavier and some are lighter. It's by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Look. The mice found a stick. And then they found a rock. And they got an idea. They're going to build something. The mice made a teeter-totter. It was fun to balance. Right now this side is down low. And this side is up high. But when one mouse is on each end, ta-da! It's balanced and goes straight across. But then a salamander wanted a turn. Hmm. When the salamander got on, this side went down. So this side is heavier, and this side is lighter. It went up, up, up. Luckily, a friend stepped in to help. Now there's a salamander and a mouse on this side, and a salamander and a mouse on this side. Perfect! Balanced again. Uh-oh. Here comes a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. What's going to happen when the frog gets on to the stick? Let's see. Whoa! The frog made this side heavier. And it shook the whole stick. But then another frog came. When he gets on the stick, it will be balanced again. The frog, a salamander, and a mouse on this end. And a frog, a salamander, and a mouse on this end. And it's balanced. This side weighs the same as this side. Oh no! A big blue bird wants to balance. Where's the bird gonna land? Whoops! That's not going to work. The bird crashed on and knocked all the little animals off. <gasps> or maybe it will work. Look, one big bird is balanced with two frogs, two salamanders, and two mice. Because all these animals are so little and light that all together they weigh as much as one big bird. Ta-da! <gasps> but not for long. <sighs> the stick broke. There was two much weight. Too many balancers. Time for everyone to find something else to do. Bye friends! Except the mice. Look now, they have a little stick and a little rock and they made a new teeter-totter just for them, and they're balanced once more. The end. Now friends, you can go around your house and see which objects are light and which ones are heavy. You can hold small items in your hand and think if it's easier to pick up or heavy and harder to pick up. 
and you might be surprised. You can make a prediction about which things will be heavier and which things will be lighter, and then you can test it out. You can try it in your yard, too, with your grown-up. Bye, friends. Have fun exploring which items are light and heavy.